In this video, I'm going to show you how to stop the run out of the gun bunch. Guys, I played in a tournament the other day, and I just got absolutely ran on by uh, the inside zone split. It seemed like every time I was trying to blow this run up with my user, it was it was just impossible to stop this run with my user. I tried 3-5 wide. I tried nickel 2-4-5, 2-4-5 uh, odd, 3-3-5, uh, whatever. I, it, nothing could work. And so I wanted to give you a very consistent consistent run defense that you can utilize that is going to be very effective against gun bunch and the reason why i like this run defense so much is because we can actually pay play very effective pass defense out of this so i think it's really important if you're going to stop the run out of shotgun you have to be able to also stop the pass so that's the whole purpose of this video we're going to show it out of the nickel 335 odd uh 335 odd man i love this defense this defense is so freaking fun to run and if you've not gotten my nickel 335 odd defensive ebook yet i want to encourage you to pick it up there's a link in the description below you can get that defense for just 15 dollars so it's super super affordable it stood the test of time this has been one of the best defense the entire season i think it's certainly up there um i think the pressure that you can create from this is absolutely incredible it's much much better blitzes in my opinion than the 335 wide so that being said we're going to jump into this video now i've got the inside zone in my audibles here um so i'm just going to come out but i'm just going to come out in it just for sake of simplicity here so i'm gonna put double posts in the audibles um in case we want to show any passing but Anyway, nickel 335 odd, and you can do this out of any play. Now, I will tell you that LB Cross 3 Show 2 is the best, in my opinion, for blowing up any shotgun run in the game. But we're going to show you how you can do this out of Tampa 2. Um, and let's just dive into it. So, all we're going to do is we are going to spread our defensive line and we're going to spread our linebackers because this is kind of the basic, um, like this is kind of the basic blitzing formula that we can do out of this formation. Um, then what I like to do is I like to show blitz. And the reason I like to show blitz is because it's going to put this guy, it's going to basically pinch these two middle linebackers, but it's going to leave this guy outside. So it's going to help us significantly with our pressure. Um, so all we did was we spread our defensive line, we spread our linebackers, and then we showed blitz. The next setup, and really the last step, is to crash our defensive line down. Now, what this is going to do is it's going to give us really good pressure. So if they pass the ball, we're going to get instant pressure against the quarterback. If they run the ball, we just want to stand right here with our user. And the reason why we want to stand right here is because if we see the run, we're just going to basically push the line to the right. And what you're going to notice is it should open up a, a wide open tackle for this backside safety. So again, we'll just show this real quick. And we go, I think I must, he must have froze. I don't know why he froze like that. I don't know if I bumped something or whatever. Let me show it to you again. That's not normally what happens. So again, let me show you just like that. I must have bumped a button or something. But anyways, you'll see here. See how he comes around like that and then just blows the run up. That is, that's the idea. So what you can also do with this is basically, um, what you can also do with this is like at the snap of the ball. All you're going to do is just click your joystick in. Once you click your joystick in, that like tells that player, hey, he's running the ball. I need to go down and guard him. Another little thing that I can do, and this helps the blitz tremendously out of this formation, um, is I can go ahead and man that guy up on the running back. It'll actually increase the blitz because watch, he'll just sit there. See that? So that's just something to kind of kind of be aware of. Um, another way that you can stop this if you're looking for another solution is if you don't want to show blitz, like you don't want these guys to pinch, just blitz this guy right here. I haven't had a ton of people run on me when I do this. Um, what you'll see is he comes in, but as you see right there, and that's the problem with that that run out of bunch. There's most most runs that will stop it, but this inside zone split, for whatever reason, this tight end and the guard, they really can make this hard. So um, that being said, you know that's why I like to do the first setup where I'm just kind of hovering right in here. Um, I'm gonna get, I know I'm gonna get really good pressure if they pass, so I'm just coming down into the right. And as you see, we kind of push the pocket and we allow him to basically blow the run up on his own. And in Madden 22, guys, it's not necessarily favoring the offense in terms of, I mean, it is favoring the offense, but like this cutback that he would try to do, he's gonna run right back into a guy. There's two people there. So, I mean, this is pretty well like bagged for the most part. If he cut outside, the safety's coming down. I'm not really worried about that because, I mean, the guy's going to come through and tackle him. So, all in all, this is probably the um, – this this is probably – the uh the best way to do this so i mean again all you're doing is just standing right here 
and they're going to run the ball, and you're going to blow it up with that guy right there. And you can, if you wanted to, let me show you one other thing. Um, let's say that the let's say that the ball snapped, and you realize, oh crap, I'm getting blocked. So what do I do? Well, what you could do is you could just hit circle and click onto him and hit stick him. Okay, so that's another thing that you could do. I'm, I I don't really do that honestly. Um, I just literally run the run the play down with this guy. Another thing you could do if you wanted to uh, is you could just back out, so you could just bail and then basically kind of help clean it up if you wanted to too. So that's a nut. Those are a couple concepts uh, for stopping this. Now let me show you that this works in a couple of other formations as well. So for example, another popular one that people will run out of is this. Um, uh, where's it at? Where's it? I don't know if I have it actually. I don't think I do. I'll just do like a spread set. It's not a big deal. Um, but again, so like, see something like this, right? Um, what you're gonna do is you're. What I would do is I would just get this guy in in here like this, and then I would show blitz, come down like this, and then if they run the ball again, you're just pushing the pocket, and as you can see, the play kind of blows itself up. Um, you know, that's the idea. So, the biggest thing is understanding. LB cross is really, really good, especially for other sets for sure, um, because the the guy is literally blitzing into the gap, so he's going to run right in there. Now, I will say that because he's blitzing, sometimes the lineman does target him a little bit better, but overall, this has been super consistent for me in terms of shotgun runs. It doesn't really matter uh, what shotgun run it is, and you could actually do a universal setup out of this. So, for example, like right here, all I'm going to do, as you see here, the blitz is set up. I would go ahead and take that safety on the right, maybe put, you know, create some 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 hard flat coverage on the field. But as you can see, as long as as long as you like occupy the guard, that guy is gonna blitz in and he's gonna blow that run up every single time. Now I said I wanted to show like what happens if they pass the ball. And this is why I really like this defense, because if they pass the ball, we're, all is not lost. And I feel like a lot of run defenses this year, that's the way it is. But let's say they pass the ball. What you're going to see here is we have phenomenal coverage. And as you see, we have absolutely incredible pressure. We're going to get super, super fast pressure off that edge. And that's, I mean, that's really the value, in my personal opinion, of this formation is because if they pass the ball, like, you're going to scream. I mean, you're, it's very likely that you're going to scream. Every now and then, some fluke will pop off, and he won't come in. But I'd say about 90 to 95% of the time, as long as, you, as long as you're in the right position with your user, you're going to be in a really, really good position uh, to be able to go ahead and get some instant pressure at the quarterback. So thanks for watching this video. If you want to get my full nickel 335 odd defensive ebook, there's a link to that in the description of this video, and you can get that for just 15 bucks. Thanks again, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you want to get the guide, just head on down to the description, click that link, and we'll take you right to the website, and we'll get y'all squared away.